yes, there's an element of luck to scrabble, but as Gary Player, our famous golfer, said, you know, the more they play, the luckier you get. And I obviously showed that in the tournament. You know, I kept trying and eventually got lucky. So this is how the game starts. You have all the tiles in the bag. So now what I do is, I'm going to draw seven tiles, and you also have to draw seven tiles. I was ecstatic winning this tournament. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was very shocked. I think my, the highest game that I got was 530. And one of the words that I played that I thought was quite interesting, it was Vindaloo, V-I-N-D-A-L-O-O, -O, which is a curry dish. And another word that I thought was quite interesting is the word Hongit. Um, H-O-N-G-I-E-D, which is a Maori way of greeting one another when you touch noses. Um, in the last game that helped me to win the tournament, I played the word Q-A-T-S for 50 points. And that is an evergreen shrub. I'm a lecturer at the University of Pretoria, so I teach mathematics. So, and also I play competitive Scrabble, and I really enjoy the sport. And, and, and I think the reason why I enjoy both of them is because it has to do with puzzles. Playing Scrabble really increased my vocabulary. I, I look at words a lot more closely. So one of the things that I enjoy looking at is, are people spelling the word turmeric correctly? It's T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C. A competition Scrabble is very different to playing Scrabble at home. There's a little bit of risk sometimes. For example, if you play the word um, leather and your opponent has a P, the opponent can make pleather, which is fake leather, you know? So, Sometimes you can invertedly create extra opportunities for your opponent, and that's just a risk that you take. You can prepare for competitions. Um, playing online games is, is a great way to prepare. Another way, there are software out there that you can analyze your games. There's software out there that can quiz you just two letter words or three letter words. Um, there's also software out there that can quiz you on, for example, words that contains a Q. You really, really got to know your words quite well. This year the World Championships are happening in Goa, India from 15 to 20 October. Um, they are hoping to get um, over 200 players from more than 50 countries across the world. Unless I pick up dream tiles and uh, could bingo virtually every game, the chances of me winning this tournament is very slim. However, I am going to plan to get into the top 20 or maybe the top 30. That is my goal that I'm setting myself for this tournament.